I want to talk a little bit about the stakes. You know, we should absolutely celebrate our victories, but this isn't the time to rest on our laurels. At MVP, we know that winning in 2024 is not guaranteed. You can see in the lower half of this wheel what a lot of our local partners are doing right now. We want to make sure that we target every single race that might be competitive. The House, the Senate, state level races starting now to build for 2024 and beyond. So we need to have a sober reckoning and a sober analysis. The Republican Party are as dedicated and as motivated for their interests and their ideology as we are to ours. We know that this work is so much bigger than any one organization, and we really deeply believe in working in partnership with all of our allies in a way that is greater than the sum of our parts. In Arizona, we passed another Proposition 208 that is now taxing the rich. These are things that in Arizona were never thought possible, and we are making them possible through people power. We're looking to the next decade because we still have a fight in our hands. We had an incredible victory at a federal level, but within our state legislators, we still have a Republican trifecta. My name is Robert Salim Holbrook. I was released from prison in 2018 because a strong statewide progressive movement brought me home. I am a co-founder of the Coalition to Abolish Death by Incarceration, a statewide movement composed of family members and their incarcerated loved ones. We cut our teeth and had our first taste of power in the 2017 DA election in Philly that brought progressive DA Larry Krasner to office. MVP was supportive of us through this growth and continues to support us to this day. Um, and so this election cycle, we're very excited. We have a, a packed ballot this year. We have a mayoral race um, that we are instrumental in. We have judges on the ballot. Our organization is also focused on, there's some magistrate district races. That's the entry level um, into the criminal legal system. So those are very important races to us. And we're definitely gonna win and we thank MVP uh, for their help. My name is Jasiri X. We launched the Artivist Academy in 2018, and our main focus was to support artists that were using their talents and gifts for issues of social justice. We got in the streets um, in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County in 2018. 2018, Pittsburgh also saw the Tree of Life Massacre, the largest massacre of Jewish people in the history of the United States. Um, we began to do that solidarity work with our Jewish brothers and sisters as well. But it caused us to say, you know, it's one thing to, to go out in the street and mobilize and protest and it's necessary, but we began to say, okay, well, what else can we do? Can we change policies and positions so we can stop um, some of these instances before they start? And so we began to just, you know, use our social media as a way of mobilizing folks. And we actually did three voting festivals in three historically black communities in Pittsburgh on three consecutive weekends. This could be our New Deal moment. Sometimes donors and others ask like, what's the best group? My answer is yes, right? We, we actually need all of us. Our job is to expand our movement. So at the same time that we need ambitious national organizing that is grounded in the grassroots, we also need local grassroots organizations. No national organization can develop leaders who will be evangelicals for our movement without a robust and deep local organizing ecosystem. This is why early money is so critical. The deep organizing is the most useful and meaningful resource and strategy, but it only works if it's, if, if it's done early enough. None of us can stay on the sidelines. We need to meet the scale of the crisis with our passion, with our, with our commitment, and with our donations. So I made a four-year stretch commitment to MVP starting now. And really excitingly, my family has decided to get in on it. I had never done any donor organizing before, but when they saw what I did and how good I felt about it and the election outcomes, they are excited to pursue giving in this area. Uh, people ask me, like, what, what's it like to work with MVP? And just, you know, I can just say it's been inspiring to be part of this organization. Uh, and it's with a sense of history and possibilities that I look forward to the progressive decade that MVP will help bring into being.